All right, we're going to use the distributive property today to solve equations. Um, by the end of this video, you should be able to distribute and combine like terms to solve equations using inverse operations and justify the solution. Let's start by talking about what the distributive property is. So the distributive property um, simply says that multiplying a number by a group of numbers added together is the same as doing each multiplication separately. This also works for subtraction as well. So what we're saying is 3 times 2 plus 4 is the same as 3 times 2 plus 3 times 4. If this was subtraction, 3 times 2 minus 4, that would be the same as 3 times 2 minus 3 times 4. All right? Okay, so our steps to distribute and combine today. The first thing we want to do is distribute. So whatever number we see attached to a set of parentheses, we're going to multiply that number to everything in the parentheses. Once the parentheses are gone, we're going to identify the like terms. We're then going to combine the like terms. Then we're going to use our inverse operations to solve for the variable. And finally, we will check our solution. Example number one says 5 times 4n minus 4 equals negative 60. We have a number outside of the parentheses that we need to multiply by everything in the parentheses. 5 times 4n, we're simply multiplying the coefficients and attaching the variable, would be 20n. And 5 times negative 4, make sure you take the sign in front of the number, 5 times negative 4 would be negative 20 equals negative 60. Okay, so in this problem, we don't have anything to combine. We've got a term with a variable, a term without a variable, equal to a constant. So we want to use inverse operations to get that variable by itself. So we'll start by undoing addition and subtraction. We have minus 20. The inverse is to add 20 to both sides. Negative 20 and positive 20 create a zero pair. We now have 20 in equals negative 60 plus 20, which is negative 40. We then want to inverse the multiplication between 20 and n using division. We're dividing by the coefficient on both sides. 20 divided by 20 is 1. So n is alone, equaling negative 40 divided by 20, which would give me negative 2. Okay, I then want to check my solution. So every time I see the letter n, I'm going to replace it with a negative 2. So up here in the original equation, I'm going to replace that n right there with negative 2. Okay, so we're going to rewrite the equation 5 times 4 times negative 2 minus 4. And we want to get a solution of negative 60 when we solve this. That would tell us our solution is correct. So using order of operations, we start inside the parentheses, and we start with the multiplication. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. We're going to bring everything else down. 5 times negative 8 minus 4. Okay. We're then going to... Um, we're then going to simplify our parentheses. Negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. Bring down the 5. 5 times negative 12 is negative 60. Okay? So we know that this is the correct solution because when we simplified, we got um, the same um, value as in the equation. Okay, let's try example 2. In example 2, we have a 6 outside of the parentheses that needs to multiply by everything in the parentheses. So we are going to distribute the 6 to the 3x, giving us 18x. And we're going to distribute the 6 to the negative 5, giving us negative 30. Once we've distributed, the parentheses no longer are there. And then we bring everything else in the equation down. Negative 7x equals 25. We want to identify the like terms. So looking at the left side, we have three terms. Two of the terms have the variable x, 18x and negative 7x. We can combine those two together and get 11x minus 30 equals 25. Using inverse operations, we start with the addition and subtraction. 
So we're going to do the inverse of negative 30, and then we're going to add 30 to both sides. Our 30s create a zero pair, and we have 11x equals 25 plus 30, which is 55. We then want to inverse the multiplication using division. Divide 11 on both sides. 11 divided by 11 gives me x equaling 55 divided by 11, 5. Okay, now we want to check our solution. So we're going to plug 5 in every time we see x. So we're going to plug it in here and here. Alright, so 6 times 3 times 5 minus 5, close parentheses, minus 7 times 5. Alright, so starting with parentheses and starting with the multiplication. 3 times 5 gets done first, giving me 15. Bring everything down. 6, open parentheses, 15 minus 5. Close parentheses, minus 7 times 5. Then we want to simplify 15 minus 5. So 6 times 10 minus 7 times 5. Okay. Now 6 times 10 is 60, minus 7 times 5. Then we've got negative 7 times 5, which is negative 35. Bring down your 60. And then finally, 60 minus 35, which gives you 25, which is the same as the equation. So x equals 5 checks. Example 3. Alright, so in this one we've got 16 minus 2 times 5 plus 6 in equals negative 9. Now remember order of operations, multiplication comes before addition and subtraction. So technically, this value, negative 2, needs to be multiplied by everything in the parentheses before you can deal with the subtraction. Okay. So we're going to distribute negative 2 to the 5, giving us negative 10, and negative 2 to the 6n, giving us negative 12n. We're going to bring down the 16 equals negative 90. Okay, now that the parentheses are no longer there, we can identify the like terms and combine them together. We've got three terms. Two of the terms do not have a variable. So we can combine those two constants together. Positive 16 and negative 10 give you positive 6. Minus 12n equals negative 90. Okay, we will now want to undo addition and subtraction. Um, our constant is 6. It's being added because it's positive. So the opposite is a negative 6. We want to create a zero pair here. Okay, we're going to do negative 6 on both sides. This gives us negative 12n equals negative 90 minus 6. Now these two integers both are negative, which means we're adding and keeping the sign. So the value is negative 96. Okay, we now want to get rid of the multiplication. So this coefficient needs to be divided on both sides. Negative 12. Those cancel, leaving us with m equals negative 96 divided by negative 12 is positive 8. Okay, remember we're checking our solution by plugging that 8 in every time we see the letter M. So we're plugging it in right here in the equation. Okay, so let's rewrite 16 minus 2 times 5 plus 6 times 8. Okay, we want to multiply inside the parentheses first. So 6 plus 5 plus 6 times 8. We're going to do the 6 times 8 right here, which gives us 48. Bring down the 5 plus, bring down the 16 minus 2. Now we're going to simplify inside the parentheses the addition. 5 plus 48 is 53. Okay, we're going to bring down the 16 minus 2. We now are going to multiply negative 2 times 53, 
which gives us negative 106, and we're going to bring the 16 down. 16 minus 106 gives us negative 90, and so since we know they match, we know m equals 8 is the correct solution. Okay, one more example. I'll try to be quick. Um, we, the only difference in this equation is that we're so used to our variables being on the left. This time the variables are on the right. We're still going to do the same steps. We have a number sitting in front of parentheses that we need to distribute. So we are going to multiply that 2 times the 3t, giving us 6t, and 2 times the negative 8, giving us negative 6t. We're going to bring down the negative 4t, and we're going to bring down the 10 equals. Now we want to identify the like terms and combine them together. So looking at the right side, we have three terms. Two of those terms have a letter T, so they are considered like terms and can be combined together. Positive 6 and negative 4 would give me 2T. I bring down the minus 16. I bring down the 10 equals. Now using inverse operations, I'm going to start with the constant negative 16. I'm going to add 16 to both sides. The 16s create a zero pair, which gets rid of them. 10 plus 16 is 26, equals 2t. I now want to get rid of the multiplication by dividing by 2 on both sides. This leaves me with 13 equals t. Okay, so every time I see the letter t, I'm going to replace it with 13. t is in the equation twice. So now I'm going to rewrite the equation, replacing the t with 13. 2 times 3 times 13 minus 8, close parentheses, minus 4 times 13. Okay, we're going to start with the multiplication in the parentheses. 3 times 13 is 39. We're going to bring everything down. 2 parentheses, minus 8, close parentheses, minus 4 times 13. We're going to subtract 39 minus 8, gives us 31, and again we'll bring everything down. 2 parentheses, close parentheses, minus 4 times 13. 2 times 31 is 62, minus 4 times 13. Now we want to do negative 4 times 13, which is negative 52. Bring down the 62, 62 minus 52 is 10, which matches what the equation says. So t equals 13 is correct. All right, you have two to try on your own using the steps we've talked about in the video. Please refer back to those steps as you're trying these out. We will go over them tomorrow at the beginning of class. Good luck.